Federal workers may feel like pawns, but the shutdowns also affected the citizens they serve, who are just as torn about what really caused this and where to place the blame. Voters in California talked to veteran Republican pollster Frank Luntz at his home in Los Angeles. Who do you blame for the shutdown? President Trump. President Trump alone. Media and the lack of term limits. Nancy Pelosi. Media. Trump. Trump. So why was it then when the government was shut down under the Obama administration, people blamed Congress, but when it shut down under this administration, they blamed Trump? Trump took responsibility, and I'm going to hold him to that responsibility. Why doesn't Trump get credit for the government opening up if he's responsible for it shutting down? Why does he not get credit? Because he will get nothing when he's saying credits from the media. What is three weeks? Because people had to suffer great deals for something that most of the country doesn't want, which is a wall. But who's he fighting? For the everyday American worker. That's why you've reopened the government. How many of you think the shutdown's okay? You realize that people are hungry in Washington, that people are not getting paid, and you all think it's okay? I don't think it's okay, but I do think it's necessary because we cannot give in to a tantrum. If you have a toddler, a two-year-old, and throwing a tantrum because it ain't getting what it wants, you don't give in. He had the authority to shut down the government for a reason. Nancy Pelosi said, no, I'm going to call your shots, okay? The issue is, is Nancy Pelosi committing an act of treason by acting <laughs> against the, the security of the United States? I say yes. Well, I don't think a wall is, is the right solution. I do think border security is extremely important. He can continue to shut down over anything that he doesn't get what he wants. And that's what this president has shown us. That's what concerns me. Trump should have got this wall in the first two years when he had that, de- that's that, right. that majority. That's right. He should have. But Ryan screwed him. Ryan and, Schu- uh, and uh, who's the other guy, the Senate guy? Mitchell. Screwed him. They should have, McCarthy. He should have gone after this. If this was that, that much of a uh, campaign promise, he should have went after this in the first two years when he had the majority. We are the only country in the world that doesn't have border guards. We have border patrol. You have Schengen okay. in Europe, dude. And everybody who wants to jump the fence, jumps the fence and says, oh, I am a, 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 a calling for an asylum, okay? Why don't you apply in your consulate and do it the legal way? Jumping fences, my friend, is not a proper way to enter any country. We're talking about the logistics of border security and not about whether or not border security is inherently uh, nationalistic and inherently racist. I'm t- How is that? racist, why is working on helping the people that are in America, because we still have, whether it's the vets or the homeless, let's help them first. We can't help the We have the money world. to help everybody. Why can't right. we help? We d- no, no, we, we don't. don't. What he's saying is true. This economy can't survive it. It, it just couldn't. Because we're not, going I'm, not, I'm not saying it's morally right, mm-hmm. but what I am saying is, where's the, where's the resources going to come from? If it took spending money <clears throat> on the wall, to keep the government open three weeks from now, would any Democrat here want your party to compromise to keep the government open? Probably not. No. No. If part of that compromise included legislation to prevent either a Democrat or Republican from ever using the government shut down as a pawn again, then I would support a compromise. I think that in three weeks, he's going to have to do the emergency. The Democrats that aren't as far down the progressive path are going to secretly kind of be like, okay, you know, we got that solved. But vocally, they can say, we did not support Trump, and everybody can be happy. I disagree, and I'll tell you why. I think the courts will immediately yeah. strike yeah. it yeah. down. It sets yeah. it sets um, a terrifying precedent for being on. And I, this is coming from somebody who supports the idea right. of a wall. If we're declaring national emergencies so that we can invoke eminent domain to then mm-hmm. bypass Congress, that's a scary but thought. Is I am one not okay crossing with that. The border not, any one person coming in is technically... And invading, Theoretically, and legally, I invading I the country. I, I don't think you can look me in the eye and tell me that this is a national emergency. It's a national Worthy, emergency. It's a national really, emergency we've had for years that we're really just now calling an emergency. emergency. When I hear national emergency, I think 9-11. Mm-hmm. I think Pearl yeah. Harbor. Right. I just I think, I just don't think we're there. Why does yeah, there have to be a shutdown on. to get a wall? I don't get what the correlation is. Because this is a national crisis, and we finally have a president in office who's willing to stand up to this, and that's President Trump. 